scout these. They've been scouting it. You'll notice they're flying around. If you look up here, you can see, well, if you can see it from a distance, you'd see a figure eight happening. They're checking it out, getting their bearings, they're going around with all the cracks in the hive, inspecting everything. And I suspect a large amount of bees, larger than what you see, is about to show up. You guys are going to be on this video like bees on flowers. So check this out. A couple days ago, I had a stack of bee boxes sitting. Um, getting ready to use them, really. Um, but uh, they were just sitting there and I happened to notice some scout bees. And I recognized the activity of scouting and not searching for honey. They weren't searching for food. They were definitely scouting the way they were checking out the box, buzzing around the box. Um, and so I've been watching that scout activity for a couple of days. And uh, this morning around 9 o'clock, I noticed a large amount of scouts there and I thought, hey, that swarm's about probably going to move in soon. Next thing I know, there was no bees, not a single bee, gone. No scouts, nothing. And I said to my wife, I said one of two things, either they don't like the box and they're going to find a different home or those scouts went to get the swarm and come back and come along with me. I want to show you what happened. I'm Garrett, also the owner of Sugar Daddy Bees. And today we are sitting in a wild swarm coming into one of my swarm traps here at my house. I should say a feral swarm, but not sure where they came from. Not my bees. Good job, Dad. Thanks, Thorin. So here we are. So here we are in the heart of the swarm. I suspected they were gonna show up. I showed you in the previous video uh, how there was just scouts flying in the air. So now I'll scan up and you can see the amount of bees in the air. Look at this. This is a thing of beauty. Honeybees are such an amazing creature that God created. And their ability to work as a team to build colonies and fight pests and pollinate plants is just incredible. I love every moment of this. I'm completely unsuited. I'm just laying here on the ground to get a good video up in the air. And they are not bothering me. And the reason for that is they are, most of them are very full of honey. They come full of honey for the swarm so that they can start building comb right away. So that makes them a little bit lethargic. It's a little hard for them to fly, actually, despite what you see here. But um, I'm already seeing some that are crash landing because they're so full of honey that they can barely even get here. And so when they're barely able to fly, they're not gonna bother stinging me. So I'm literally laying in the swarm and bees are crash landing around me right now. So this colony um, that's moving in here, I do not believe came from my bees. I watched the bee line from the scouts coming from the east, and I saw no signs of swarming in my colonies. And I think this is a this is a pretty massive swarm. Um, and they've also chosen a very large stack of boxes, so that's an indicator to me that it's going to be a really large swarm. You hear my children in the background. in here a little closer. I actually just had this box sitting here. These boxes just sitting here ready to be used and notice scouts. So I just left them sit because the scouts had found it. I'm glad I did.
I do really good swarm control um, with my hives, so I watch for them. I, I do a lot of inspections, so I know when they're going to swarm. Um, and I've never uh, caught, this is the first swarm that I've captured on my property. And like I said, this isn't even for my bees. Yeah, do you like that, bud?